Morning commutes in the San Francisco Bay Area can often take an hour or more, thanks to freeway congestion. But Alan Giraldi, a runner who races in 100-mile ultramarathons, leaves his gas guzzler behind despite his long commute. Instead, he runs. Now to commute to work. <laughs> and what exactly does that mean for you? It's about a 23-mile jog into the office. So it's a combination with the high gas prices. It's a way to stay out of the car, um, guess be a little more green, and also get my training miles in for my ultras. Right, so it's, uh, it's just after 6 a.m. We're outside Alan Giraldi's house here in Daly City, California, just south of San Francisco. It's cold, it's wet, but uh, we're going to follow him today as he runs to work. It's, uh, it's about 6.45 right now. I woke up at about 4.30. Uh, but uh, for, for Alan, it's nothing. He gets up at 4 o'clock every morning because he works for a, a European uh, freight company. And um, if, he, uh, if he weren't running, you know, it would take him half an hour tops to get to work. Um, but uh, you know, he gets up, he checks his email for a couple hours, and then uh, heads out the door for his four-hour run. Yeah, you know, filling up a car isn't easy either, you know. You gotta deal with the confusing console, figure out which grade to push, put in the, uh, put it in the tank, and uh, at the same time, balance eating a donut, you know. I got, kinda, I got up pretty early this morning, so uh, didn't have a chance to grab any breakfast. It's about 8.30, we're about, you know, 13 to 14, 14 miles into Alan's run. He just ran by a second ago. Back here actually is uh, some open water where Alan actually trains for Ironman triathlons, where he practices, I guess, two mile swims back there in the open water. But we still got about uh, 10 miles to go, about maybe an hour and a half left in Alan's run. So, I don't know, why don't we uh, try to catch up with him? Uh, I'm at the foot of the uh, San Mateo Bridge right now, and uh, feels like a long time since we uh, picked, you know, since we met Alan at his house this morning. And it has been. It's been about two hours, 45 minutes. Alan has run well over 15 miles, but we drove a little bit ahead of him, so I'm just going to sit here and wait. Five miles go. He's still, you know, going at it. He doesn't seem to be tired at all. You know, we just talked with him. He wasn't out of breath. And, uh, yeah, he's given my station wagon a pretty good run for my money. Well, I guess as, as long as I keep it in first gear. All right. Later! You know, on, on the way here, the darndest thing happened. We got stuck in traffic again. We got here at exactly the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Three miles. Cool. Yeah, how are you feeling? Okay. Yeah. So it warmed up low, but uh, I'm not doing well. After running 23 miles, what do you do once you uh, get to your office? Well, I grab my clothes, <laughs> go downstairs and take a shower, and then I come up, plug in my laptop, and catch up on the emails that I didn't do by BlackBerry. He runs in, like I said, cleans up, takes a shower, business as usual. You wouldn't have known that he'd you know, run 20, 25 miles to get in and no. Well, Alan, thank you very much. Uh, I'll let you hit the showers. Thank you. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Stu Wu.